Welcome back to our channel, folks. Another episode packed with fascinating content. Today, we're diving deep into the incredible world of agriculture. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. We're taking you on an extraordinary journey. All the way to the vibrant, sprawling fields of India. Where turmeric, that golden spice we all love, is cultivated with such care and precision. From planting to harvest, and all the processing in between. We'll explore every single step of the way. Get ready to witness how this amazing spice, makes its journey from the field to our tables. Let's unravel the secrets of turmeric. One of the most authentic crops on earth. This is gonna be good. Turmeric, scientifically known as curcuma longa, has been a cornerstone of Indian culture for centuries. It's essential in both their culinary and medicinal practices. Revered for its vibrant color and powerful medicinal properties, turmeric has transcended being just a simple spice. It's a symbol of tradition and wellness, you know? As the world's largest producer of turmeric, India supplies nearly 80% of the world's turmeric. It all starts from a humble little rhizome, transformed into that golden powder we all use in our kitchens around the world. It's a pretty amazing journey, isn't it? Now, let's dive deeper into the intricate process of turmeric cultivation and harvesting in India. It all starts with the careful selection of rhizomes. Farmers usually pick the best ones from the previous harvest, high quality and disease free. Then, they cut them into smaller pieces, making sure each piece has buds. You know, for sprouting. So they can grow into healthy plants. The turmeric planting season in India varies a bit by region, but it's generally between April and June. Right when the monsoon season kicks in. Soil preparation. That's super important in this whole process. Turmeric loves well-drained. Fertile soil, rich in organic matter. Farmers till the land multiple times to get that nice, fine, loose texture. Then, they add organic fertilizers or compost to boost the soil's fertility. Once the soil's ready, they plant the rhizomes about 5 to 7 centimeters deep. They also space the plants out properly, giving them enough room to grow. You know, so they don't get too crowded. In the early stages, irrigation is a must. That's the only way to make sure the seeds sprout and grow. To stay consistently moist. Usually, turmeric plants start sprouting within three to four weeks of planting.
Weeding is a key task during the early growth period. This helps reduce competition for nutrients and water, you know, in smaller areas. Farmers mostly weed by hand, but in larger fields, they might use mechanical weeders. Irrigation plays a super important role throughout the entire growth cycle. While turmeric isn't super water intensive, it does need the soil. In areas with unpredictable rainfall, farmers often irrigate when natural rainfall isn't enough. Especially during dry spells. Yeah, those dry spells, they are tough. The frequency and amount of irrigation. Well, that depends on the soil type, the climate, and the stage of growth, of course. To fight off pests and diseases, Indian farmers often combine traditional methods with modern techniques. Harvesting turmeric. That's a labor-intensive job. And timing, that's everything. Generally. After the 7th of September months of growth. When the leaves and stems start to yellow and wither. That's when it's harvest time. In India, the turmeric harvest season is usually between December and March. The exact timing varies by region, of course. The harvesting process begins with cutting off the tops of the plants, leaving only the rhizomes in the soil. Then, they carefully dig out the rhizomes, with shovels or mechanical harvesters. The harvested rhizomes are collected and thoroughly washed to remove dirt and other impurities. After harvesting, the turmeric undergoes a series of fine processing and preservation steps. It's quite the process. First, they wash the turmeric with water to completely remove any remaining dirt. Then, the turmeric is neatly arranged in pots and cooked over a fire.
until it's fully cooked. After cooking, the turmeric is spread out on the ground. To dry, until it's completely dry. Once dry, it's put into a rotating machine. Which removes the outer skin. Revealing that bright, beautiful golden color. It looks so good. Finally, it's carefully packaged. So it can be stored for a long time without losing quality. After the grinding process, the rhizomes are ground into a fine powder and then sifted, to get a consistent texture. The turmeric powder is then packaged up. And sold in local markets. Or shipped all over the world. Local farmers carefully sort the turmeric, picking out the best quality rhizomes. Then, it's transported to major markets, where experienced traders inspect it closely. Only the highest quality turmeric rhizomes are bought in bulk for export, This rigorous selection process ensures that top-notch products are shipped to international markets, bringing in good economic returns for the farmers. Turmeric isn't just any crop. It's a major pillar of India's economy and a key part of Indian culture. It plays a huge role in the livelihoods of millions of farmers, and it's a key part of India's unique export products. Beyond its economic value, turmeric holds a special place in India's traditional customs, religious ceremonies and medicine. It's widely used in cooking, skincare and a whole lot more, and its health benefits are seriously praised. As we wrap up our journey through the Indian turmeric fields, it's clear as day how this golden spice goes. 
from field to table. It's a testament to the hard work and dedication of Indian farmers. Every step, from planting to processing, is done with precision and care. That's how we get such high-quality turmeric in our kitchens. Thanks for joining us on this amazing journey into turmeric cultivation and harvesting. What a trip! We hope this documentary gave you a better understanding of the hard work and expertise that goes into producing this incredible spice. It's truly something special. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth content about the world of agriculture. Also, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment below. Share your experiences or questions about turmeric cultivation. Let's keep the conversation going.